No. Yeah. Could you give me a name again? Steve Yen Show. Okay. And can you show me your card? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, you are, sir? Uh, I'm Salim Hicksonmez. Uh huh. Hicksonmez. Uh huh. And which organization are you representing both? Uh, Water of Life. Okay. Water of Life. Okay. And so what, what, what brings you to this conference? Uh, well, we were recommended uh, by several people at the United Nations to uh -huh. come here. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a great conference so far. I've really been enjoying it. And specifically, we've been working in uh, Africa, Mexico, and now Haiti, uh, in Africa for over three years. Mm -hmm. uh, and on, on the water project, uh, Water of Life uh, is now in its sixth year, mm -hmm. and it's uh, been a very uh, uh, encompassing endeavor. Mm -hmm. And we've come across a wide variety of people with uh, a deep desire to really help uh, resolve this uh, major cause of death, number one cause of death in the world. Okay. And what, uh, what's your particular passion here? What's, what are you really interested in doing at this conference and, and with the organization that you work for? Uh, I think Steve mentioned it, you know, water is, uh, you know, one of the biggest issues, you know, uh, reaching people. We, uh, water is one of the biggest um, epidemics right now that we have in this world. And so this is just a ideal place to meet some of the big players and uh, gather information and share a little bit about, you know, the products that we have. Uh -huh. So how, how does your organization work on the ground? Well, we've partnered with uh, several uh, organizations, uh, generally nonprofit organizations, uh, several ministries, and uh, have been operating uh, uh, systems in the field now for uh, over three years. So it, it varies by country, it varies by organization. Uh, in a lot of situations, we've put together, our, our partner organizations have put together uh, a, a team uh, it, within the organization themselves and then also they've organized teams on the ground. Generally they'll try to get a, uh, a water committee organized in a village, uh, learn from the village leaders whether uh, they really want uh, safe water in a village, have them determine uh, how they should deploy it and more particularly have them uh, gain a level of responsibility for taking care of the system. Although our systems really don't need uh, much maintenance, they need uh, periodic cleaning but that's about it. Uh, they, uh, they've been extremely reliable. We haven't had a system failure in Africa in over three years. Okay. Give me an example of, of, of a project that you find has worked very well. Uh, the story behind it. And um, I'm going to default well, to Steve on that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can think of several that uh, have gone extremely well. Um, our project in, in Gondama, Sierra Leone, the system there, uh, worked so well that, uh, from what we understand, the, uh, the Sierra Leone government actually gave the stewardship of the United Nations camp to the village because they saw the people taking care of uh, their own villagers with the Water of Life system. And that uh, inspired the, the, the government leaders to believe that they could uh, also uh, be good stewards of this camp, that they're not turning into a school. Mm -hmm. That's an example. Um, we've had uh, a number of reports where there have been uh, major outbreaks of uh, serious diseases such as typhoid fever where uh, none of the people in any of our systems uh, contracted a disease. Uh, that uh, it's just, uh, we have women in some of these villages walking uh, literally an hour each way in the middle of the night to get uh, uh, safe drinking water for their children, for their families, uh, even though they have wells right outside of their uh, their dwellings that uh, produce water that they know uh, cause their kids to get sick and maybe in some cases even die. Mm -hmm. What's the main? What are the main principles or the ideologies of water for water of people? Water of water life. Of life, water, water of life. Yeah. Uh, so well, our uh, here's a here's an example system that we have uh -huh. here. This is our village system. Uh, the system actually is uh, is self-contained. It ships in its own. Uh, 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 drum, its own tank serves as a shipping container. Mm -hmm. It's solar powered. Uh, it uh, we, we have systems that uh, produce as little as uh, 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 as, as little water as for 250 people a day, and as much for 1,100 people a day. Mm -hmm. uh, it sets up in about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, basically, no consumables uh, and no chemicals involved. Okay. Then is able to purify the water to uh, US EPA standards. Mm -hmm. 
and so what's the kind of message that you want to give to people here and you are what you what's what's the thing that you want to leave this conference with yeah, well what, the message that we want to give is that you know we want we want to partner with um, with the organizations here and help serve the people that really need it most okay good thank you so much thank you